Hey everybody, today we're going to show you where to find all 10 treasure locations here in the Southern Falls region on the planet Toshara in Star Wars Outlaws, so let's jump into it. So we're going to start off on the far northwestern side of the Southern Falls region, right up here on the peninsula where you can see the Imperial Terminal. There's going to be one small building up here right next to the pathway, pretty easy to spot once you make your way out here. But once you get out here, you will have a couple enemies that are guarding the area. You can take them out pretty quickly, or you can try to be really stealthy if you like. But either way, all you need to do is make your way to the top of the ladder in the middle. And once you climb up to the top, you'll see the container right here in the back. We can go ahead and open that up for treasure number one. Our next couple treasures are going to be found at the Imperial Ford base. It's on the northern side of the Southern Falls region. You can see that location here. And we're actually going to start from the northern side where you can see our arrow and our marker on the pathway. Now, what you're going to do is go to the right of the pathway and the base, and we're going to work our way inside uh, stealthily. So if you come over here to the right, you're going to end up finding a spot where we can go up. You can see run all the way back into the corner. And right over here, you're going to be able to grapple up to the top. We'll go ahead and climb our way up here essentially all we're doing is making our way around the mountainside here so that we can jump into the base without being spotted once you're up top you'll have a rock wall right here that you can climb go ahead and climb this up to the top and then from here we're going to take a left and come right over here and climb up this wall here and then once you make it to the top all we're going to do is follow the main path in front of us that's going to take us all the way around where we can jump into the base Right over here, when you make it to the edge, you'll be able to run and jump your way across. And once you land, what we're going to do is make our way where the ladder is in front of us. So you can actually run and jump across here as well, or you can go down the stairs and make your way to the ladder. But either way, we need to make our way up to this door. And what we're going to do is interact with the door here. And once this opens up, you're going to see a trooper right in front of us. So we can sneak up behind him and take him out. Then we're going to quietly make our way down the ladder. There's going to be another enemy in this room. Now, you don't actually need to take out this enemy. I just did so just to take extra precaution. Uh, but where we're going to go, this enemy isn't going to spot you. But you can go ahead and take this person out just to make it a little bit easier. But then you want to make your way right over here behind the ladder. You're going to see uh, a vent that you can open up and drop down into. We'll make our way down here. And then just follow the path. You're going to end up in this little room. There's no enemies down here, so don't worry. And then just make your way to the other side where the next vent is. We'll open that up, crawl inside. Then we're just going to follow this all the way to the end. And then we're going to come across an exit where we can jump up. And our treasure is going to be found right here. So when you make it up top, if you turn around, there's going to be a chest right here in the corner. We can open up that container, and that's going to be our first treasure here in the Imperial Ford base. Our next treasure is also found here in the Imperial Ford base, and we're actually going to start from where we just grabbed our last treasure right in the middle. So standing at the last container that we just opened up, essentially what we're going to do is make our way all the way back to where we came from. So we're going to go ahead and open up that vent that we originally climbed up, work our way back down through the vent system. We're going to go all the way over here and through this little room once again to the other side. And we're essentially literally going all the way back to the first spot where we jumped into the base. So we can go ahead and climb up the vent system here. Once we're up top, we're just going to climb the ladder that's just around the corner. Once at the top, we're going to go out the door on the right. And then we're going to go up the staircase that's right in front of us. So you can jump down or you can take the ladder. It doesn't matter. You're not high enough to take damage. But we're going to make our way up the stairs. Here's back up to the wall. Now we're going to go straight once you make it to the top of the stairs. We're essentially going to work our way to the other side of the compound up top. Now, some of these enemies you can sneak by. I recommend taking them out or as many as you can just to make it a little bit easier in case you do get spotted and you need to take out some enemies. But you'll have one there and then you're going to have another one on this side. This one's a little bit uh, more difficult as you're going to have a camera that's up in the corner. So what you can do and what I do here is kind of make my way to the corner while the camera's facing the other direction. And the stormtrooper is facing where we need to go. So we can use Nyx to distract the stormtrooper, get him to turn to the right. And then once he does and the camera moves, we can then continue along our way. And we don't even need to take this guy out. If you take him out in front of the camera and the camera spots him, it's going to alarm the, the compound and make things really difficult for you. But once you make it over here around the corner, immediately we are going to want to look out for a couple enemies. We're going to have a couple soldiers that are kind of just walking around patrolling this area. You guys will see them. 
And where those guys are in front of us, there's going to be another container that we need to get to. Now you can come up here and make a bunch of noise if you want. However, it's easier to just take your time and take out the two enemies that are patrolling the area, which we're going to do here. And then once we take these guys out, we're going to have one more trooper that's guarding the door who's probably going to get alerted when you take those two out. You can take him out if you want, or you can just kind of sneak by him. I'm going to go ahead and take him out just so that it's easy. And then once he's done, we can run all the way over here and you're going to see the container right here in the middle. We can go ahead and open up this container and this is going to be our second treasure here in the base. Our third and final treasure here in the Imperial base is going to be a little bit more tricky. This one you may need to make some noise to gather, but again, we're going to start from the last one. You see, we're going to be right here on this container in the middle. What we're going to do is run over here to this doorway and we're going to go inside. You can open it here with the switch and then we're immediately going to go down the grapple that's here in the middle of the bridge. We'll go all the way down to the bottom here and then we're going to go inside this door. Now you're going to have a couple enemies in this room on your right. We need to take both of these guys out. Keep in mind the one right here in the middle is going to be the one that's going to immediately hit the alarm. So make sure that you don't let him do that when you're taking out the trooper. But all we're going to do is take both of these guys out. The room will be clear and we can access the computer here to turn on the lift. So we're going to unlock the security door. That's going to allow us onto the lift. We're going to run inside, wait a second, and it's going to take us to the next floor. Once we're here, there's going to be a computer in the back left that we need to access. And there's a couple things we're going to do with this. We can go ahead and put in the code. We're going to disable the turret. Once that code is in, disable the turret, and then we're going to disable the camera, and then we're going to transfer the data. So do all three of these things on the computer, and then once you've done that, we can leave the room. We'll make our way back over to the lift, and then once we get off, we're going to go all the way to the end of the hallway in front of us. And you can see I'm going to open the main door here, but what we want to do is go through the door on the left. So you can see it's a little sketchy out there. So what we're going to do is come over here to the left side and go through this door. And we'll be able to sneak around on this side. When you go outside, all you want to do is hug the door to the left. You'll see a trooper on the right there. You don't necessarily need to worry about. And we're going to sneak up behind this guy right here. Now you can probably just go past him, but it's a little bit easier to just take him out. No one's going to spot you and you don't have to worry about him later on. And we're going to continue our, our way around here. The final treasure is in the door that's right here in front of us. That's being protected by this guy. Now, if you're really patient and you let this guy walk around or you're strategic and you use Nyx to bring him towards you, you can take him out without making any noise and then you can make it to the door. However, recording this, I ended up getting impatient, just getting annoyed that this guy was just being ridiculous. And I ended up hitting him with the stun gun out of frustration <laughs> and it alerted some of the nearby enemies. Uh, and then I just ended up running in the door. So you'll see you have a couple enemies in this area, but what you can do is open the door and go inside. Just make sure these guys don't hit the alarm as there's not that many in here and they're probably not gonna be able to call for backup. But the final treasure is going to be right here. Now, if you're in combat, it's not going to let you open it. But once these guys don't know where you're at and they all just have yellow question marks, you'll then be able to open up the chest. But in this room right here is where you're going to be able to find the third treasure in the Imperial Ford base. Our next treasure is found on the southwestern side of the Imperial Ford base. Uh, you guys can see that location with our marker here. However, to get to this location, you're going to want to head to the pathway where you can see my arrow just to the right. So right here along this pathway, it's going to lead directly to a ramp where you can jump across and land on this piece of land over here. So from where our marker is, you'll see the ramp pretty easily. Again, it's right at the end of that path. Just hop on your speeder and boost your way across and you'll make it over here onto this little mountain. And then once you make it up here, we're going to be looking for smuggler cache that's or a smuggler cache that's in the back. So if you come right over here by the ship that's destroyed, You'll see right over here on the ledge is going to be the crate in the ground. So we'll go ahead and open that up. And again, this will be smuggler cache number 71. Treasure number six is going to be found just south of the Imperial Ford base. And we'll give you a second as we zoom in to show you the exact location. The easiest way to get to this is to make your way to this river right here. And we're going to start right around where my arrow is. And all you need to do is follow the river to the dead end where the waterfall is. So in the river, just follow the water all the way down the hill. You guys can see some rapids down here. And we're just going to go all the way to the end. And you do want to be careful. The very end here is a drop off, which you can see here. And once you make it down to the very bottom on the right side, you're going to see a little patch of land that you can get up on. We'll go ahead and hop off the speeder. And then right here in the ground is going to be our next container. 
which is going to be Smuggler Cash 86. Number seven is going to be found in a pit that's just southwest of the Imperial Ford base. This one's pretty easy to spot. You can see that exact location here on our map. We're going to be starting just north uh, along the river's edge to kind of show you what it's going to look like once you make your way over here. But it's basically just going to be a little pit in the middle of the river with a couple trees and rocks on it. Once you make your way up to it, there will be one side where you can kind of enter the area and there's going to be a grapple that you can go down into the pit. Go ahead and grapple our way all the way down to the bottom onto this platform here. And then we're just going to make our way all the way down. And it'll be easy to spot as there's a single container down here. You can open up that container and that will be treasure number seven. Treasure number eight is a Nyx treasure and it's going to be found just south of the word Southern and Southern Falls on your map. You can see here as we zoom in, you'll have this little mountain here with a pathway in front of it. And essentially what we need to do is just make our way all the way up to the top. So once you're here, what you're going to do is run over here and we're going to jump across. We'll be able to climb up a couple rock walls here. Again, this one is a Nyx treasure, so he will essentially lead the way. So if you get lost or you need some help, just follow Nyx. He's going to take you right to where you need to go. But we're going to grapple across to the other side and follow this pathway around the back side. Go all the way around the back here. And then we're going to drop down a couple times. And then you'll see here, we're going to have a couple bars that we can grab onto to make it to the other side. So we'll go ahead and jump across all of these bars. Do be careful here for all the bats that will jump out. But then once we make our way across, we can then drop down back onto land. And then we're going to come right over here to this rock wall and climb all the way up to the top. We'll go all the way up here. When we make it up top, we're just going to follow the pathway, jump across. Continue to follow this. You can jump down. And we have another spot where we're going to jump across right here. And then one more time. And then we're going to have a rock wall right here that we can jump and grab onto. And we're just going to swing our way to the left here and climb up to the top. Once you make your way over here, just climb up to where you see the giant tree. And then if you just come over here to the left of the giant tree, Nyx is going to start to dig in the ground on the cliff here and you will be able to retrieve your eighth treasure here in the Southern Falls region. Our next treasure is going to be found right in the middle of the Southern Falls region. There is a landmark on your map for it, Traveler's Crossing. You see it's going to be right here, and we're actually going to start from just left, right around where our arrow is. And this is what it's going to look like, pretty obvious. You're going to see the campfire on the left. What we're going to do is just to the right of that campfire, you're going to see a really small rock wall that we can climb up. And that's going to lead to a pathway. And all you're going to do is follow this pathway all the way to the back. And you're going to see a very small patch of land right in the middle of this little river on the back side right here. And right in front of this bush is going to be another container. So you can go ahead and unlock this container, get the treasure inside, and this will be treasure number nine. Our 10th and final treasure is going to be found on the far southern side of the Southern Falls region. As we zoom in here, you guys can see there's going to be a cave right around where our marker is. And we're going to start just from the north where our arrow is. Make it down here. And so it's a little easier to see where you're going. This kind of mountain here on your left is where the cave's going to be. So just travel all the way to the back left side and you're going to see an entrance. And there's a pathway leading to it. So it'll be pretty easy to spot. But what you're going to do is make your way inside this cave and then drop down and then hidden in the back right, there's actually a really small crack in the wall that you can sneak through. It's a little hard to see when you first get down here, but in the back right side, you can sneak through this crack. And then once you're in this little secret area, we're going to climb up the rock wall to the left. And then once we make it up top, follow this path over to the bridge and then cross the bridge. And on the other side is going to be a container right in the middle that's going to contain our final treasure. But this is where you're going to be able to find all the treasure here in the Southern Falls region of Star Wars Outlaws. Hopefully this video helps some of you guys out. I appreciate you watching and we'll see you in the next one.